Hey Skywalkers, welcome back to Today, Today in Star Wars, Wars History. History. Your daily Star Wars history lesson. And stay after for a Life Day Mystery Box unboxing. On this day, November 10th in 1998, the teaser poster for Star Wars Episode One is unveiled at movie theaters in the United States. Now this minimalist design includes a young Anakin Skywalker as he casts a shadow of Darth Vader. Now two different versions of this poster were released. A long banner that has Vader's shadow spread across the desert floor and the one sheet poster that has the shadow on a sand hut. Now do you recall when you first saw this poster in 1998? Oh my gosh, yeah. So I don't recall when I first saw it, but I remember I definitely saw it in movie theaters everywhere. I mean, I was going to the movie theater all the time and I thought it was the coolest design ever because they have that Vader shadow, like it really connected the saga for me. Yeah, not only was it a shadow, it was a foreshadow. Yeah, oh. I recall seeing this at the AMC in Burbank and I nearly had a fit. Oh, I bet. I was going to see a movie with a friend and I, I believe I missed the first um, 98 minutes of the movie. This was mind blowing because this was another confirmation that episode one was coming to a theater in your galaxy. Yeah, once the movie poster arrives, well, that movie's coming. <laughs> <laughs> and the friend I was with, he, he didn't know that that was Darth Vader's shadow. He was just focused on, on Anakin. Some people and, see that and don't see that shadow for some reason. Because we had seen the banner. Oh, okay. And we're, uh, as where the poster, you see the, the shadow a little bit closer to Anakin, but on the right. banner, it's spread across the desert floor. Okay. So he, he didn't see it right away. It's like, that's Darth Vader. Ah! <laughs> that is so cool. Well, this teaser image poster was designed under the collaboration of Episode One art department artist, Ellen Lee, and Vice President of Marketing and Distribution at Lucasfilm, Jim Ward. Jim Ward says, one of the things that was a big key for episode one was to communicate that this little boy, Anakin Skywalker, was ultimately going to become Darth Vader. We experienced a very long time between the films and needed to remind people that yes, this was the storyline and we needed to do it in a very quick and succinct way. Now there's a fun fact around this poster. Yes? Yeah, do you want to reveal this? Uh, Skywalkers, do you know? Take uh. a second, take a second. This was the first Star Wars US theatrical release poster to use photo art. Mind blown. So not I a painting. I never thought of it that way. Yeah. This wasn't by Drew Struzan, Tom Young. Mm -mm. This, this was the first time we'd ever seen an actual photo. But I think, I mean, the, again, this poster works so well and it does connect like that this little boy will be Darth Vader. Yeah. Okay, pop quiz time. Okay. What was the second U.S. poster for a Star Wars theatrical film to use oh. photo art? Okay, I was thinking any film. I was going to go with Titanic, but... Uh, no, just the Star, Star <laughs> This Wars. is not today in Titanic history. So, <laughs> do you, wait, so repeat the question, please. Okay, what was the second poster to use photo art in, instead of an illustration for a Star Wars U.S. release? Okay, I'm theatrical gonna... for the films. Okay, let, let me make sure that everything's clear. Okay, well, I guess I'll just go with the next movie, Attack of the Clones. And you're correct. Oh man, <laughs> okay. it's the teaser poster where you see Anakin on one side and Padme on the other side. Oh, looking away from each yeah. other. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, nice. you got it. Oh, man. <laughs> I remember images. Yeah, you do. All right, Skywalkers, well, what did you think of this poster? Did you have that same revelation that we did? Let us know in the comments below. And then go ahead and force push that like button. And then go ahead and force push and smash that subscribe button. All right, well, that is what happened today, today in Star Wars, Wars history. history. And now it's time to open up another day of the Luminous Beings Life Day Mystery Box. Oh my gosh, what are we on, day 10? Day 10. Whoa, man. Can I open it? Open it, open okay. it. <gasps> it. Oh. <laughs> oh, it is a little log cat pin. Oh, look at it, a little brown log. 
goth cat. And it looks like he's wearing a Chewbacca she? bandolier. Oh my god. Oh, so it's her line of the Lopcats that are dressed as the different characters. I love that. I never thought I would see a Lopcat wearing a bandolier. <laughs> well, you know what? If C-3PO could wear one and Rise of Skywalker, what's to stop a Lopcat from wearing a bandolier? I know, so cute. Oh. Well, make sure to head to LuminousBeingsLTD.com if you want your own Life Day mystery box or for any of her other amazing items. Now, may your day be filled with ominous foreshadows. <laughs> and, of course, pixie dust. Hey, look at those names to the left. They are part of the Skywalking Force, our Patreon. Become a producer yourself and check out all the Disney Plus themed bonus content available depending on the level you subscribe. Become a member of the Elite Skywalking Force at skywalkingforce.com. 